Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, um, this is going to be a different video or a different type of video for me to do. I was inspired by channels like Bad Is Rad 2 who goes out on location sometimes and Faceless Book Reviews who, um, you know, this is all he does. He walks around, doesn't show his face and um, talks while he walks. I didn't mean to rhyme them, but um, they, but there you go. Um, this is the second time I'm actually filming this video is uh, because the uh, first time I did it, which was yesterday, the footage I don't, I do not know why it was all blurry and um, it was unusable. So I had to delete all the footage and basically start again. And it's funny that at this specific point. Um, in the video there was, an, there was a plane going up um, overhead so hopefully that's not much of a distraction anyway the reason why I'm in a cemetery today is because the book that I'm going to be talking about has something to do or is a big part of death and it's also got a big scene in the cemetery as well that book in question is called Printer's Devil Court by Susan Hill I got this one from a uh, library and I wasn't expecting really to like it that much obviously I knew who Susan Hill uh, is or was um, by her most famous book called The Woman in Black which I did start to read I don't think I give it much of a fair chance I probably will go back to that one at some point but I have recently uh, joined the, the, um, the uh, library um, and I was looking on the horror shelf and I came across this book. It's not really a novel, it's more of a novella as it's only a hundred pages long and for an extra plus it had illustrations in it. Not sure if all the copies of this book have got, uh, got um, illustrations in them but that would be something that you would have to look at yourselves. But when I saw this book I was thinking okay you know it's I wasn't expecting much. Uh, I was just expecting to um, take off a book that I read that was really short that I wanted to read from the library and I was expecting at best it was, it was going to be a um, three star book at best. But no, this book really surprised me. It really surprised me. So what is Printer's Devil Court about? Sorry if I'm coughing a bit in this video guys, I'll try to cut out as much of that as I can. Uh, this book revolves around a man who is a doctor and he is in the medical profession. And one day he uh, meets up with two of his best friends who tell him that they have something very important to tell him. Um, you, you could say it's a uh, matter of life and death. And um, he's really curious about what they have to say, so he goes up to them and he finds out what they have got to tell him. Which, they take him in to this room where they tell him that they have, or they believe they have found the, um, you know, a way to bring people back from the dead. That they have a... Um, way, a, a scientific way that they've created or they found out where they can bring people back from the dead and um, also um, kind of defeat, you know, death at, you know, at, you know, at the same time, I suppose. So he's taken into a room where this man, this elderly man who's at death's door is lying in this bed and these two gentlemen who are, who are also in the medical profession um, give him this kind of medicine, this vial which he takes. Sorry about that guys, I am in a uh, active cemetery and there are people around so I'm trying my best to respect people's um, boundaries and, um, you know, and um, all that type of stuff. Um, anyway, this man is, take, is uh, taking this uh, medicine 
and something happens which completely baffles our main character. So when this gentleman witnesses this strange event, he confronts his two friends saying, look, is this a joke? Is this a wind up? Is this something that uh, you have just created and um, it's not real and um, you're just doing it for a laugh? At this time, they are extremely um, kind of offended by this and they uh, tell him that this is not a joke, that this is 100% real and they are, um, excuse the pun, dead serious. So shortly after this, they come across this woman who has been taken off off the streets. I'm pretty sure this is set in London and uh, it's not in, I, I don't think it's really mentioned. But it, uh, I think that this woman might be a street worker, you know, like a prostitute. And, um, stuff going on down here, guys. So I don't think I'll be able to come down here without filming and, um, invading people's privacy. So anyway, this woman is, I don't think it's implied that she's a prostitute, but I think that she may be, um, any, um anyway, she's been taken off of the streets again at the brink of death she is younger or much younger than our um gentleman friend who was elderly this woman i believe may be about mid 20s or 30s but she is also as i said on the brink of death and she's been given this vial the same one as the elderly gentleman did and it has the same effect so shortly after this, our main character and his two friends go their own separate ways. Our main character doesn't really think much of it. And as the years go on, he has um, progressed in the medical profession. And um, his two friends have been um, kind of ridiculed of being, um, you know, frauds and being madmen and being insane not exactly sure what exactly happened to them in the end and i am almost certain that the uh two real life grave robbers um uh, bork and Hare, i think that's what their names are, i can't remember the uh two scottish men that uh grave rob for for their money are mentioned in this book so our main character goes on with his life. He has a wife and he has a son, I believe. And um, one day our main character is in a cemetery where he's walking around, minding his own business. And he notices a woman going around from tombstone to tombstone, from mausoleum to mausoleum, looking really methodically at every single gravestone and every single marker within the cemetery. And he is um, kind of taken aback by this. He's thinking about why, why is she doing this and um, does she need help? Because she seems to be in somewhat a, of a um, distress and needing some assistance. So he goes up to her and asks her if she needs any help. At this point, she tells him in a very cryptic, in a very cryptic way uh, that she does need help. Uh, not exactly saying exactly what she wants or what she needs. But um, as uh, we um, read about this character, we find out that she is looking for a specific grave or a specific tomb. I think that's all I really want to say. I won't, exa I won't exactly say whose grave she's actually looking for and why she's looking for this. I will say that... Oh, let me just pick up this rubbish, guys. I'm actually like um, Bad is Rad too, where she like gets distracted of all these things. I just saw this rubbish here. I thought I'd just pick it up. Um, probably wasn't put there by someone. Probably blew there in the wind. It's just a um, packet of something. Or maybe uh, foxes, it does say chicken on it. Anyway, um, we don't, um, it's, um, so anyway, um, as Stephen King said in his Pet Cemetery book, um, the dead sometimes come back as wrong. 
or something pretty much along them lines. Um, it's pretty much the same as in this book. Um, this woman isn't what she appears to be. She is different. She is um, more than a uh, young lady. And I think that's as much as I want to say about that character. And this event that our main character witnesses with this lady or this individual. Oh, there's some pine cones on that grave. It's very nice. You don't see pine cones that much. Um, <laughs> I keep on getting distracted by all this... Uh, random stuff um, but yeah um, as I was saying this event that this uh, man discovers himself in this graveyard with this mysterious um, character completely baffles him scares him and rocks him to his core and makes him question whether his two friends did actually discover a way of bringing someone back from the dead this book is um, left open to a lot of, of, um, of um, interpretation and um, what the reader believes is the real um, thing and what really happens. It doesn't tell you in black and white that, okay, this is what ha actually happens. It leaves, it just gives you enough to make you question, your, uh, question for yourself whether this actually happens or not. Um, so that's really good. Um, I like it when books do that. So, I, as I said, I was really surprised by this book. I really was. As I said at the start, I was expecting this to be a very um, short and okay to very me mediocre book. And I wasn't really expecting it to be anything to write home about and be anything special. But I was very, very um, surprised by this book, as it's a very short read, it's very quick, it's very enjoyable to read. Because of its age, you may be thinking to yourself, well, how, how, how is the language? Does actually, uh, I mean, how does it read? It reads really well. Um, yes, because of its age, it does suffer from, um, you know, um, the language barrier, language has changed within that time, but it's nothing really much that goes over your head and completely baffles you about what the author's trying to say and put across. Uh, yes, there are some instances where that does happen, um, but when it does happen, you're uh, you can really kind of connect the dots and try to, um, you know, understand for yourself about what the author was actually talking about. Um, and if you are, um, I mean, if you've read books like Frankenstein, for example, then I would highly recommend that book, um, especially if you liked it, I would definitely recommend that you read this book, especially if you are interested in the subject of resurrection and, um, characters bringing people back from the dead, and even if you haven't, um, read anything like um this and if you haven't and if you didn't like Frankenstein then I would still recommend that you read this book I mean it's not um, it's not really going to be in my um top 10 of books that I've read this year but at best it's going to be a very high um, honorable mention so that's it um I think that's all I want to say without going into spoilers because you can really kind of like spoil this book if you like talk about it um, too much. Um, let me know if you have read this book. Let me know what did you think about it. Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know if you have any more recommendations that you've read by Susan Hill that you think that I should read next or that you think that I would enjoy. And... Um, I mean, apart from, obviously, um, the uh, obvious one, which is uh, The Woman in Black. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, um, I mean, I was surprised by this book. I really was. I enjoyed it. Um, and it was a um, somewhat pleasure to read. And the illustrations really made it that much, I mean, that much more pleasurable and enjoyable to read. So I think that's all I had to say, guys. Um, 
I didn't really want to say too much and I didn't really want to say too little. It's it's kind of a um like a tricky thing doing book reviews um to know how much um you need to say. But I think I've said enough. Um I will say that I am um intrigued to read more from Susan Hill. I'm not in a mad rush to do so. This book has intrigued me to read more from this author, but it hasn't made me think Oh my, I need to read more from this author right now. I mean, I know that my um, library has loads of other books um, from Susan Hill. So um, I've got plenty, plenty, plenty to choose from. Probably the next one I'll read is... I mean, I've probably got to like read The Woman in Black. This is probably a most well-known book. But I mean, no massive rush to do so. I've got loads of other stuff I've got to read um, but yeah when the time's right I will pick it up and give it a read but yeah I mean as I said let me know if you've read Princess Devil Court what did you think about it and uh, also before I go I just want to say that you may be thinking to yourself well, what, uh, does um, Princess Devil Court mean anything within the book yes it's a specific location that the characters go in and uh, you may be thinking to yourself, well, because it's got the word devil in the title, let me just put this in the rubbish, or in the bin rather, uh, does this book mention or um, you know, bring up the devil or Satan? Um, if it did, it was very, very uh, subtle and I didn't notice it. But no, the uh, devil isn't, isn't a um, big part or if any parts within this book. But yeah, I thought I'd, yeah, I thought I would come to the cemetery, my friends, because um, oh, you know, my friends, uh, that's what Bad is Rad Two always uh, says in the videos. But yeah, I thought I would come to the cemetery today because um, of the subject of this book. I wasn't um, doing this for a laugh or anything like that because I know I can be uh, unintentionally humorous. Uh, you know, I wasn't doing this for a um, laugh or anything like that. I just did it because it seems to be the um, proper or the most, um, you know, um, kind of logical um, setting to uh, feature in this video or to this, or actually talk about this book in, you know, I don't know, I'm rambling on. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I thought we'd come to this uh, cemetery before I've got to go to work. It's a nice sunny day and uh, hopefully this footage is all good. I'm going to check it before I go. I did test my, um, my uh, the footage before I um, started and it seems okay. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this, is, this uh, footage has come out okay. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and get something to eat. Oh, there's like a um, bird table there. It's very, um, you know, imaginative, like a little garden. Cool. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, I would come here and um, yeah, I'm just going to go and get some uh, lunch and have it in the park before work because it seems to be a nice day. We don't get many of them over here in the, um, you know, in um, maybe old England. Uh, trust me, tomorrow's probably going to be pissing down with rain. So back to normal. Oh, your milk jug here. I'll get rid of that. Uh, I mean, this uh, cemetery does have staff, but you do need to help them out, especially when you see rubbish like this. Um, you know, it's a massive cemetery. Um, you know, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry if I've been blabbing on and on about this. Hopefully you found it somewhat entertaining and yeah, because of the new location. And yeah, uh, thank you for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.